your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good Tuesday afternoon. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. A four alarm fire tore through a shopping plaza in Longmeadow early this morning. Crews were called to Armada's Plaza on Shaker Road about 6.15 a.m. Although the cause isn't officially determined, officials believe it did originate in the bottle shop, which was one of the six businesses in the plaza that's now a total loss. The Longmeadow Town Manager is expected to meet with business owners today to discuss their next steps. Cara Rentala, the woman accused of killing her wife in 2010 in their Granby home, appeared in court this morning and was granted $50,000 cash bail ahead of her fourth murder trial. After two mistrials, Rentala was found guilty of killing Anna Marie Cochran in 2016. Back in September of this year, the state Supreme Court overturned that conviction due to expert testimony surrounding paint drying. Authorities say Cochran was found covered in paint. Rentala has spent the last five years in women's state prison in Framingham. The man suspected of driving his SUV through a holiday parade in Wisconsin, killing five people and injuring dozens more, is due in court later this afternoon. Police say Daryl Brooks had just left a domestic dispute when he sped into the crowd. According to court records, Brooks was out on bond at the time of the deadly incident. He'd been arrested for punching and running over his, the mother rather, of his child with the SUV, the same one used in Sunday's attack. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. Clear skies tonight. We do keep a bit of a breeze. It does lighten up quite a bit, though, during the overnight hours, and that will allow temperatures to drop toward the middle teens through early Wednesday morning. So a very cold, very frosty start. Temperatures will warm quickly due to abundant sunshine, barely a cloud in the sky tomorrow, and temperatures will get back toward the middle 40s. We will have a breeze out of the northwest, but staying at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. High pressure is going to help to keep our weather dry again for Wednesday, and even for Thanksgiving Day, it's looking dry. However, cloud cover will be increasing ahead of our next storm system. A cold front will approach late Thursday night with a period of showers that will continue out through Friday morning. Friday will dry out fairly quick, but it is going to stay blustery and turn colder with a couple of snow showers expected in the Berkshires. So for Thursday, temperatures will get back into the low 50s. Not a bad Thanksgiving and skies will turn cloudy by the end of the day. Friday breezy with some morning rain and a few rain and snow showers possible in the afternoon with highs of 43. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather and exclusive content.